and what the Lord has done for you. Praise the living God. I'm favor following show from Ojobarans, Lagos. I'm here to testify to God's mercies and goodness. I was here on the upper Tuesday. I came with a sister. It all started. My sister, Sister Mercy, came to me. I was in the house. She said, Sis, he said that there's a particular prophet, prophetess I'm following on Facebook. Say, I just saw the address. Please help me pronounce this place. I saw the place, Aboroko. I said, Aboroko. He said, Where is Aboroko? I said, After Village Gate. She said, So close. She said that she chatted with Mama, and Mama said she should come on Tuesday or Sunday to church, that she will see her. So she said Tuesday she had an appointment. I mean, Sunday she had an appointment. Tuesday she will be here. So that Tuesday morning, I had a misunderstanding with my husband. She called me, said, since we are going together, she told me we are going together. Normally, normally, after that misunderstanding, I would tell her I will not go. But when she called me, I said, sis, 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 she said, prepare, let's go. You said, you know, say devil. No, they like good thing. I said, okay. I entered the bathroom took my bath. We came to church. After everything, after the prayers, we went to see Mama up. And Mama talked to her, and when she turned to me, she said, Mama, why so much attack, witchcraft attack on you? I was just looking at her. She said, so much witchcraft, they are really focused on you. That from your, father, your husband's place, it's like a husband and a wife, the environment you are living, and even strange woman. I was just looking. He said, even as I'm talking, he said, you had a fight. He said, talk to me, mama. I said, yes, mama, this morning, around 5 a.m. She said, you are just like a shield covering him. He said, if not that your hands are clean, they would have killed you long, long, long ago. I was just looking. She now booked me for deliverance. I went through deliverance. On Sunday, I was there. She brought me out. The second set. And while I was out here, she located my son at the back. And she said, who has this boy? This boy, your father is down. He's under attack that they are going to kill him. And mama, my husband would have died that Sunday. <laughs> I was crying. People did not understand why I was crying. Because what that man has put me through. Actually, I had already made up my mind to leave. Our case is in his office. So, when mama talked to me, when she begged me, I went home that night. That evening changed. Because I was not greeting him. I don't prepare his food. So, but that particular Sunday evening, I prepared his food. And he was down right that Saturday. He had hiccup. So when I prepared his food, he ate. I went, I greeted him. He answered. I gave him food. He ate. I said, have you eaten? He said, yes. I said, sorry. He said, okay. So I, I sleep in the parlor. I went to sleep. My spirit did not allow me. He said, go and tell this man where you went. So when I went, I greeted him. He was on his bed already. I said, are you listening to me? He said, yes. I said, do you have anywhere you can go for prayers? He said, no. I said, why? Shebi, you said you went to somewhere and they told you in that place that I have a boyfriend and the boyfriend slept with me with Juju. That's why I don't know what I'm doing. He said, it's white garment too. I said, hmm. I said, well, I went to somewhere with Sister Mercy and it's a church. Is, is, she's a woman of God, a servant of the Most High. And she told me a lot of things. She told me about the attacks. She told me about the foundation we are facing. And a lot of things. And she said, you need serious prayers. I don't know whether you can go there. So he now said, he didn't talk, he didn't answer. I now explained everything, how it went to, and how she located my son and how she said he's under attack 
and even of a strange woman. I said, I don't know where you took yourself to. You are now facing it. Can you run to Christ? He didn't say anything. So when I finished talking to him, he listened. I was about going. I owned the light. I saw him do <laughs> I said, ah, you have hiccup? He said, yes, since yesterday. I said, ah, hiccup? I, I'm a nurse. I said, this thing is not ordinary. It's either it's sent or it's a poison. And nobody comes out of it. It's only by the grace of God. He said, I know. I said, ah. So I blessed water for him. He, I, I called Sister Messi instantly. I said, I need Mama's number. I want Mama to pray for him. So she said, the number she has, that is not Mama that picks it direct. That, so I had to. All I want to say is, after everything, Mama brought me out. And she talked to me and turned and said, please, church, pray for my family. She helped me and my son. The church got up and prayed. And that revived my husband. He's alive today. He got up that Monday. I gave him water. I anointed the water. He took his bath. I gave him food. And I said, how far? He said, since that night, he has not had the hiccup again. And yesterday, Mama, I saw him. He went to work when he came back in the morning. He said, the CEO said they should give, that there's a wedding they are supposed to attend, that he should come and go back by 11. He's a fair person. Mama, he's darker than, I saw him very dark yesterday when I was outside. I said, ah, what happened? You are very dark. Does it mean is this sickness? He said, ah. He said, you don't ever hear, say somebody get hiccup, make him. I said, oh, so you know. He said, yes, I know. He said, is it because I don't use lipstick or wear clothes to go and stay in this church? I said, so you know what God has done for you? He said, he said I thank God. But today he's strong and healthy. I want to thank God. Ah, please church, rise up and shout, thank you, Jesus. Shout it three times. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your testimonies are permanent. 